All right, so we're going to be talking about the inferior vena cava um, and respiratory variation. Um, I have this initial clip being a sub xiphoid because I think that you should never, ever just do an IVC view without having looked and completed an, a full cardiac exam first. Um, if once you've done that, you can follow up with just uh, some IVC variation to see what response you're having if you've chosen to do that. But uh, let's go ahead and start looking at the IVC. So our first question is going to be, is the IVC collapsed? If the answer is no, then we're going to see, does it have some variation with uh, respirations? So uh, we'll see three examples here of uh, just some respiratory variation. Uh, most of them, some of them are a little bit more than 50%, and uh, some of them are close to 50%. So when we look at this image, um, we can see our liver here, uh, just like our diagram above, our IVC coursing here. This is going to be our portal vein and short access. Here is our hepatic vein that we see coming in and out of plane, and here's our diaphragm. Now, typically, you want to look two centimeters distal to the diaphragm or one centimeter distal to the hepatic vein, which puts you about right here. Um, I don't do a measurement personally. I just know that's where I'm going to look and um, try to watch the variation with the respirations there. So in this case, we can see um, that there is a pretty good variation greater than 50% collapse. Uh, when you look at the diagrams that show, have shown, or the tables that give you um, your percent variation with what your CVP is, uh, this probably puts you in the range of um, 5 to 10, possibly, because uh, you have a distended IVC uh, with some collapse. So let's go ahead and uh, look here. Let's go to the next one. Um, we got a patient here. You see, again, the diaphragm. Here's your hepatic vein dropping in. We're going to look about right here. Now this patient probably had some uh, shallow respirations. So when that's the case and you can't really appreciate if there is um, a lot of variation, go ahead and have them sniff like they're sniffing a flower um, or anything else. And um, if they take that quick sniff in, you can see a little bit more uh, variation because it, it creates that negative pressure in the chest. So you can see here, especially on that, this first breath won't be as much. And then the second breath, you can clearly see that they have pretty good variation. So this patient probably, you know, just eyeballing, I would say has about 50% variation. Uh, this probably puts them around a 10, a CVP of 10. Go ahead and look up the chart when you're looking at this initially. Um, I don't do that as much now. I just like to see the variation and, and get some thoughts there as, as far as what, uh, if my CVP is super low or super high is when it helps me kind of here in between, it's, it's, uh, it's a little questionable. Um, but I'll let you review that data for yourself. Um, when we look at the IVC here, here's another one. This one's not having to sniff as hard, but we see diaphragm diaphragm up here. Here's the hepatic vein. We're going to watch right here. Diaphragm kind of comes down right there, so it, it makes it a little less likely. I like to look right here, if you can. Um, and so we got about 50% collapse. Now, if you um, if you want, you can put M mode on there. You could freeze it and try to get it, get the measurements to, to be exact. And that would be good if you're doing an IVC collapsibility index. Um, but for the most part, I just like to eyeball it, and I do like to save clips of it just so that whoever is following up can, um, you know, a consultant or at a later time, um, any physician can, can look at this also. So hopefully that's helpful. Here's, you know, these are some normal variations here um, with um, normal, uh, essentially normal CVPs, and uh, hopefully that's helpful to you. Thanks.